Hi everybody, it's Mr. Giles with a tutorial on how to make your character do a run and jump. Okay, and this is going to be, I'm going to have the character basically take one or two steps, but I want to show you the difference between a walk and a run. Um, I did a long video on uh, walking and now I'm in the running phase. And uh, yeah, so we're going to do that. Um, I want to point a few things out. I have a custom character that I've made and I named it um, when I saved this character, um, I named it Mr. G walking animation tutorial guy with colors update. I'm hoping that this will be on the STK library in the not too distant future. Um, I am currently using version 5.2.5. Um, and yeah, uh, I want you to notice that my character, I changed the color of his arms and legs so that I could easily tell what was in front and what was in back um, so I could keep track of things. And this might make your life easier too. I did it really dramatically. Like he's wearing like just like different color, everything. I made his arm a little darker. The, the leg in the back is a little darker. The leg in the front's a little whatever. So the phase one is to get your pose. The pose is so important. So I've got my pose. Pose number one, I'm going to hit my space bar. It sucks. A lot of times I'll hit one, two, three. I'll have a couple phases with just extra freight, you know, extra frames. All right. So step one, I'm going to have him prep before he starts running. So I'm going to have him just kind of notice that I'm using slow in, slow out. So I start close. And if you look, the distance here is going to get farther as he goes faster. And then he's going to get close to the end of his thing. And he's going to get, it's going to slow down a little bit and it's going to get close again and stop. Okay. And then maybe he's going to like lift his arm up, but up, but up, but I should have moved those at the same time. I'm going to have him stop right here. I'm just going to look at that to see if that looks okay. Also, I just learned this. Thank you, Peter, for telling me about it. If you hold control and click on the play button, you can use your, your uh, animation scrubbing with the greater than or less than signs um, and watch it without the dot so you can sort of see how it looks. So my guy's going to you know, pop down in position, then he's going to take off. I want to put him in position because I want to show that he is using, he's got power when he takes off. So. Phase one, I always say every single time when you're making motion is the orange dot needs to move. So I'm moving that orange dot to center of gravity. I'm going to move him a little bit because the first move is always going to be a little closer together. And I'm going to make sure that I'm really, really want you to make sure this foot always goes back right there. And if it's not, I'm going to pick him up even. I'm zooming in and out using the scroll bar. I'm going to stick it right there. Bam. I really want to get it right on the spot. Then this leg's got to move too. So we're going to have that leg start coming forward like this. And then the arms, I'm going to move the arm toward the other. So like, for example, I'm sort of matching up um, with my back leg here and I'm matching up with my front leg here. Okay. Space bar. Let's take that, take that picture. All right. Move the orange dot forward, get that leg. I'm going to make sure and place it right back in that spot. In fact, I'm going to stretch the leg out a little bit because he's going to stretch out. He's going to want to, you know, get really reach for that next step. Put it right there. This is going to crisscross like this. So we see a clear, like this, it's like a, you play the violin, like they show you, you do the little violin with your fingers. I'm doing that with his hands. I'm making the um, arms. Uh, let me hit space bar. I want to see where the arms are supposed to be. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Okay, arms are coming down. So that arm should be coming down more. This arm should be coming closer. Because the arms should be crisscrossing just like the legs, basically. Okay. All right. If you're never not sure that you didn't hit your... Uh, oops, control Z. I'm going to hit space bar again just to make sure I got that pose saved. Then I'm going to move forward even more this time. I'm going to stretch that leg out, stretch this leg forward, maybe stand him up a little more. The arms are going to fully 
go the other side. Okay, I'm going to place this back. See how I'm placing his foot right back there. But now he's stepping out to make his next step. In fact, maybe I'm going to have him, he's going to take off a little bit because he's taking kind of a running step. But I'm putting it like right there so you can see that it came from there. He's doing like a little tiny leap before he jumps. Okay, and then uh, the arm is really getting to the other side. So let's just watch that now. I'm using my... Oh, I missed a step. I missed a step in there. Okay, insert. So if you ever miss one, you're like, wait, what happened? I don't know what I just did, but it didn't work. So you get to see me make a mistake in live time. Uh, here we go. One, two. That's the one that's missing. It's too big of a jump right there. So I'm going to right click, insert. So I have a copy of that last frame. Okay. And I'm going to use the copy to move him forward some more. I went to, for whatever reason, I didn't, I must not have hit the space bar or accidentally deleted it. Put that right back in its spot. Oh, this is the, this is the uh, cricket leg. I call it the cricket leg. And the arm should be like right there. Okay. Let's see if that works now. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. So that's the basic run. And then I'm going to have him jump. He's going to take off. And he's going to hit the ground right here with his leg that he's spreading out. And he's getting his arms through because he's at his full spread out here. And then this leg's going to be like flying through. OK, boom. That's going to give him an, this this leg right here is going to bend down and that's going to give him the energy to push off. So I'm going to rotate his body a little bit with I'm holding control and alt um, to do that. And I'm going to start pushing the leg out because it's it would push forward. Right. This leg is coming through. These arms are getting back to close again because they're going to do one final maneuver as they jump. And then I'm going to start pushing this guy like, like this. And then the leg is like all the way through. Um, the arms are like crisscross in here. And let's see if I can make this happen. And then the jump. The fully extended, this leg's going to go fully straight. This is going to kind of Superman here. This is going to sort of Superman out. And that's going to go up. I'm going to zoom out a little so we can see that. Let's just, I'm going to just go backwards now. I'm going to control, click. That looks pretty good. I could probably put one more between there and there. And that's going to look really great. And then... I would like, I, honestly, you click on the screen to get that back. I'm going to just, um, I'm not going to do this as good as I could do it. Um, because I want to just, I'm all, this is more about the jump. Um, catches himself, pulls himself forward slides a little, puts his hands down, bends his knee up to absorb the impact. I want to hit play. I just want to see that. That's not bad. Okay, there's your run and jump, everybody. I hope that gives you a few ideas. And obviously, you can spend more time on the actual jump. I might do more with his arms, making them move around. But I wanted to show you the difference between running and jumping. If you have any questions or comments or tips for me, please put them in the comments.